Hello everybody, this is The Tumble Doctor and I'm coming to you today to talk about back handsprings. Yes, if you are a parent, I know you feel like your baby can throw that back handspring by herself, but every time she goes to throw it, she either lands on her head or she doesn't throw it at all. <laughs> what I wanna do today, I wanna set and establish a baseline for six drills, skills, exercises, whatever you wanna call them. Your athlete or you, the athlete, should be able to perform all six of these moves with the given number of reps. If you can, then yes, you are strong enough to throw a back handspring. If, however, you struggle with these moves, then in my opinion, that's what you need to focus on and not worry about your back handspring just yet. So let's get into the first exercise. Number one, your handstand. Now I know you think your little baby has mastered their handstand, but I am here today to check. The first thing that your athlete should be able to do, they should be able to kick up against the wall. Again, kick up against the wall, not put a hole in your wall, but control themselves and kick up against the wall and hold a handstand for 30 seconds. Now I know you didn't just think I was gonna talk about it. Uh-uh, this video is to make them do it or you do it. Parents, I challenge you as well. Here we go, we have a 30 second handstand. Again, the idea is to have control. You're not gonna punch a hole through the wall. I don't want any mamas coming after the tumble doctor like, look what my baby did to the wall because you said to do it. Here we go, three, two, one, and we are up. Now the whole idea of holding a handstand for 30 seconds is having arms strong enough to save you if you're dying. If you don't have the arm strength to hold yourself up for 30 seconds, I can understand why you wouldn't feel confident going backwards into your back handspring. For me, the old man here, I feel good, actually. It's a little weird talking upside down, but I could do this all day. I will tell you right now, one of my goals is to be the oldest man, set a Guinness Book of World Records to do a back handspring. What is my key going to be? What's the strategy? 30 second handstands, bruh. Man, I don't know how long it's been but we're almost there, I do believe. Oh, we. You'll see with your athlete that their arms start shaking and they might feel a little uncomfortable. Too bad. <laughs> that was past 30 seconds. Sure was. <laughs> How did that 30 seconds treat you? Did you make it through? If so, that's awesome. If not, I want you to stop the video right here and focus on those 30 seconds uh, against the wall. If that is the problem for your athlete, if their arms are not strong enough and somebody is telling you, you as a parent or you as the athlete that they have a mental block, they're lying. They actually have what we like to call a body block. They don't want to go backwards because their body isn't strong enough to go backwards. So the mind as um, one of those organs that's primary function is to protect us is not going to allow you to go backwards if you don't have the strength. Unless you're crazy, because there's some crazy people that do that. I was one of them. Now, here's the second one. It is a three-second handstand. Your athlete should be able to kick up, control, hold their handstand for three seconds, and then come back down. Do it along with me. Here we go. Yeah. Drill number three. We like to call this drill... Backbreakers. Dun, 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 dun. As you can see, I'm standing up right now. I am too old to play these games, so we have two beautiful, powerful athletes. Hi, I'm Destiny. Hi, I'm Melissa. That are gonna do the work for me on this one, bro. Yes, indeed. So, for our backbreakers, the idea is your athlete is gonna push up into a bridge, and then when they are up in their bridge, the first variation of it, they're gonna just step one foot up, one foot up. One foot down, one foot down. If you are doing this at home, you can stack some phone books, um, get creative, something that's roughly a foot off the floor. So, please, will you land your back for me, please, here? Yep, push up into your bridge for me, and then give me three step ups and down. Yes, indeed. Stepping up, stepping down. Good, good, beautiful. Yep, and then once you finish that third one, you can come on down. Lovely. So that is our first variation. We'll say that is level one. The level three version of this, what they're gonna do, they're gonna push up into a bridge, jump up onto the mat, and then jump down. Three of those for me, please. Ladies, thank you, appreciate you. 
Yep, so you have up, boom, and then down. Yes. Up, down one more, and up, and down. Look, they are in sync. I love it. Yes. So we have those two variations. In my humble opinion, your athlete should be able to do 10 of those as the prereq for the back handspring. If they're struggling with this, you better believe they're gonna struggle with their back handspring. Four, pretty much the same thing. Uh, it's a back breaker, another variation. Instead of the feet stepping up and then jumping up and down, now we're gonna do the hands. I really like this drill because a lot of athletes have a fear of going backwards. So when they get used to dropping from a higher surface to a lower surface and they get confident with that, and then they also can hold a 30 second handstand against the wall, then they know my back is strong enough and my arms are strong enough to handle the back handspring. Having that confidence is everything. So here we go. The athletes are gonna lay on the backs for us. Yes, indeed, thank you, ma'am. And they're gonna just push up to the bridge, step up and then down three times. Ooh, two. Oh yes. And three, thank you ladies, you can come on down, yes. So that is the first variation of the drill. Here's the second one and they haven't done this one yet. So let's see what happens. You're gonna push up both hands and then jump down both hands three times, please. Thank you. Let us eat. Oh, okay. Oh, oh, oh. Oh, oh, oh okay. You took like extra hot there. Yes. Down, yep. Yeah. Jeez. Do you see why I have the young bloods doing this? Mm -mm, this back does not bend like that anymore. That is drill number four. Thank you, ladies. I appreciate your help. Drill number five, a personal favorite. Matter of fact, parents, this drill should drive you crazy. Your athletes should be doing this all around the house and you are going mad. But at the same time, you are saving time, money, energy, and effort because their back handsprings are getting stronger. <laughs> Once again, I have enlisted my two great friends here. <laughs> oh man, uh-uh, I can still do this, I just won't. <laughs> so we're gonna drop it on down, drop it on down, all the way down. Here is our bridge walk. In my opinion, your athlete should be able to take 20 steps in their bridge walk. I don't know if they knew that they were gonna take 20. I just got some evil eyes. Too bad, let us eat. Yes, ladies, go ahead and lay on your back. And we're gonna push up into those bridges and we're gonna walk it out. Yes, all the way down. Ooh, wee. My back hurts just walking here. Doesn't really make sense, but their back handsprings are getting stronger. Just like that. Bridge walks, number five. Number six. In my head, this is a duh, but. You would be surprised how many people struggle with this and then they try to have the nerve to tell me, I need to work on my back handspring. Mm -mm. You need to work right here. This is your classic back bend. Once again, can uh, the tumble doctor do one? Mm -hmm. Is he gonna do one? Mm -mm. I have my two beautiful, lovely assistants here. So the first variation, nice and easy. They're gonna start with their feet apart and they're just gonna give us a back bend. Go for it. Okay, you come down or up, whatever you want to do. Yes, indeed. Thank you. Beautiful. Wow. The timing and they just cleaned. Here is the kicker, because we don't want kids to do back handsprings and go ah, with their legs apart. So what they are going to do for us now, they're going to start with their feet together. Mm, let us eat. I'm a fan, I'm a fan. Y'all can come down. Yes, I'm a fan. Uh, love it, wow. So that was drill number six. I hope all of these drills and exercises have helped you. And I look forward to putting out another video for you. Let us see, but first, ladies, please drop your Instagram. Mine's Alyssa.Kuiper.35. Jesse 1702 Thank you.